I started catching for the centerless grinders and then honing and lapping parts is where I started at. When I started there, I was kind of surprised how uh, such a warm feeling I felt. It, you know, I worked at a short stint, because of a young fellow, at a couple other companies. And both companies were complete different environments, different feelings. And I always never forgot the day I started that people were good to me and helped me out all the time. And so I try to still do that to this day. Yeah, never forgot that. Well, I think like anything, I think it's the people that made it survive. It, nothing survives on its own. You've got to have a will and a drive and realize you don't take nothing for granted because tomorrow isn't guaranteed. So you better make the most out of today. And I think everybody has that vision. And that's why we've st still got the doors open. <laughs> and I always liked the machine like I was buying the product. Because I know how fussy I am, I'll pick up something. It ain't going to hurt anything if it's got a scratch on, but I won't buy it just because I want it perfect. Well, I try to always machine with that same attitude. I always try to do it right the first time. For me, personally, a little extra incentive to do it because you're an owner now. And you, I implanted that in me that, yeah, I am part owner of the company. So if there's a piece of paper on the floor, Pick it up, it ain't gonna hurt you any. You know, you, it's your house, in other words. Well, I would say never for, forget your biggest asset, and that's, that's the people. And they'll either make a company or break a company, far as I'm concerned. So if you have, keep the people that wanna work and do their best every day, that makes things a lot easier for everybody. Mm -hmm.